Hey guys, if vanadium crystallizes in a body-centered cubic unit cell and the atomic radius is 131 picometers, what is its density? Now it's important to note that they also give you the, the edge length of the unit cell or the length of one side of this cube is four times the atomic radius divided by the square root of three. This is my grotesque drawing of a body-centered cubic. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that in each body-centered cubic cell, there are eight corners, each worth one-eighth of an atom, and then one whole atom in the center. So I'm going to base everything that I'm about to do off of two atoms. Okay? They asked us for the density. Density is mass divided by volume. If I take this to be the mass of two atoms, then I can take this volume to be the volume of one unit cell, because one unit cell contains two atoms, and then they're the same, it's the same basis of comparison for the two, and you're allowed to do that. So, what's the mass of two atoms? Well, the mass is generally the number of moles times the molar mass, but the number of moles here is actually going to be based off of the number of molecules that you put inside of it. Two atoms don't, divided by Avogadro's number to put it into you know just regular atoms or sorry to put it into moles times the atomic mass of vanadium which is 50.94 grams per mole ends up giving us the fact that exactly two atoms of vanadium weigh 2 divided by 6.022 to the exponent 23 times 50.94 apparently exactly two atoms of vanadium weigh 1.692 times 10 to the minus 22 grams cool so once we do that all we need now is the volume of one unit cell well, the volume of one of these unit cells is equal to the edge length cubed. The edge length, according to our formula, is 4 times 131 picometers divided by the square root of 3. And we're going to cube that. So this is going to give it to us in meters squared. No, cubed, meters cubed. Notice I've used times 10 to the 12 to convert our, my picometers into meters. Now actually, I'm gonna change that to 10 to the minus 10. Now it's in centimeters, and generally our densities are given in grams per centimeter cubed. So, anyways, four times 131 times 10 to the power of negative 10 divided by uh, the square root of 3 all to the power of 3 ends up giving us 2.769 times 10 to the power of negative 23 centimeters cubed. Sweet. Now we can just plug these right into our density formula. 1.692 grams. Oh, huh. 1.692 times 10 to the power of negative 22 grams divided by 2.769 times 10 to the negative 23 centimeters cubed ends up giving us a value of that's my drum roll 1.692 times 10 to the power of negative 22 divided by 2.769 times 10 to the power of negative 23. 6.11, 6.11 grams per centimeter cubed. That seems like a typical value. It's usually gonna be between, I don't know, one and 10. I just made those numbers up, but you know, it's a low number. Just to recap, the way that you find the density of a crystal is to count the number of atoms in the unit cell, find the mass of that number of atoms, and then find the volume of the unit cell, knowing your edge length A, 
especially as it compares to the atomic radius. If you want to convert from picometers to centimeters, you just add a times 10 to the negative 10 onto your number. That'll do the conversion for you. And don't forget to cube it because there are three sides to a cube, or at least length, width, and height, right? Divide the two, you get your answer. Bam, best of luck.